Yeah, hello students. Uh, we are solving question number 14 for you from CBSC sample paper, the recent sample paper on uh, new pattern for the session 16, 17 for mathematics. The question goes like, discuss the Discuss the differentiability of the function at x is equal to 1 by 2. So before we solve this question, I'll give you the shortcut and the, that shortcut is a little funny but it will work and it will boost your confidence also. That before you make it subjective and apply the theorem of uh, differentiability, what you can do, you can simply differentiate it. Like the derivative of the first branch will be 2 and the derivative of the second branch will be minus 6. So for all the values of x less than 1 by 2 the derivative is 2 and for all the values uh, of x greater than equal to 1 by 2 it is minus 6 left hand derivative is different from right hand derivative so this function cannot be uh, derivable at x is equal to 1 by 2 so before we solve this question we know the answer but now we'll make it subjective and we'll apply the theorem so initially we are calculating left hand uh, derivative remember it is not left side uh, continuity it is left hand derivative and the formula goes like this and the functional value f of 1 by 2 is zero now when we open the bracket and it is coming to rather we knew that it will be two so now finding the right hand uh, derivative and the function is So, because left hand derivative is not equal to right hand derivative, therefore fx is not derivable or it is not differentiable at x is equal to 1 by 2. So, this was very simple. And if you really want to know about differentiability and its actual theorem and meaning, then you can write. Uh, uh, in the comment box and we can send you a few files few PDF files to your email account now we will solve the second part that is the choice of it now question number 14 the second part go uh, it goes like for what value of For what value of k is the following function continuous at x is equal to minus pi by 6 and you are given two branches. 
So what you have to do in this question, you have to solve, obviously you have to calculate left hand limit and right hand limit and individually you will put them equal to functional value because it is already given that the function is continuous. Uh, but uh, because it's a, a long expression and many kids are scared of trigonometry. So the very first thing is if you really want to score high, don't be fearful. If you're not attacking, if you will always remain defensive, then you cannot crack the question. So I'll give you the trick. That trick is just look at the expression. I'm only taking root 3 sine x plus cos 6. So what you can do, you can multiply and divide by 2. Uh, this is the trick. Just see what I'm doing. I'm multiplying and dividing by 2. And I'm taking 2, which is in the denominator with both the terms. Now, can you tell me what is the principal value for root 3 by 2 in terms of cos it is cos pi by 6 and in sine 1 by 2 can be taken as sine 30 which is sine pi by 6 so this entire expression can be taken as 2 times of sine x plus pi by 6 and with this trick you can solve the question easily if you just go through the solutions of CBSC uh, sample paper, then they haven't shown this trick, but you officially you need to show this in a paper. And now we will take, it is very simple to take left hand uh, side and right hand side, that is left hand limit and right hand limit to this. Given, what is given to us? We are given, we are given that left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to functional value at x is equal to minus pi by 6. So now left hand limit. minus h and same way in the denominator and what is sine minus theta sine minus theta is minus sine theta because limit theta goes to zero sine theta by theta is one so the left hand limit is two now we will calculate the right hand limit So both left hand limit is equal to right hand limit and we will put them equal to the functional value. So what is the functional value? So the functional value at uh, minus pi by 6 is k. So from first, second and the third part each time. So if we put right hand limit is equal to functional value, k is coming to if you put left hand limit is equal to functional value k is coming to therefore the value of k is 2 so we have solved both the parts and still if you have any queries or a suggestion or comments do write them in the comment box 
and uh, if there is a need we will surely be giving you more questions through email through pdf files through our blog and keep doing uh, keep practicing for the papers thank you very much